<laughs> Hello there, children, you little pretty angels. Hello there, children, you little pretty angels. Here we are again to show your pretty pictures. Here we are again to show your pretty pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Sunny Boy. Hello, there, children. Hello, children. Welcome to our program. Children, you have sent us so many lovely pictures. We are truly grateful. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, shall we go see the first picture? Yes, yes of, of course. course. Well... Parsakiani has drawn this beautiful girl, the colourful cottage and the blue sky for us. Look at it. Thank you so much, Parsa, dear. What a beautiful picture. Don't you think so, Red? Yes, I think it's beautiful. What a beautiful tree. You did a great job, Parsa, dear. Thanks a lot. Children, do you want to go see the next picture? Yes, Grandpa. And now this picture which is sent to us by Miss Fatima Zainodini. Grandpa, Red, would you look at it? What wow. cute ants! Look at oh, that, what are those? There are a large number of colorful butterflies flying in a line in this picture, aren't they? Amazing! They're so beautiful. I love them! I wish I could draw like That's that! That's right! And he's also drawn two pretty hedgehogs! Grandpa? Yes, dear? You said two hedgehogs? That's right! But look! One of them has spines, but the other doesn't. Oh, look! The other one is a turtle! Oh, it's a little turtle! <laughs> it's a turtle! How cute! Thank you ever so much! It's so beautiful! Okay, and this lovely picture is from Miss Rehane Karimi. Thank you very much, Rehane, dear! What a pretty rooster! Check it out, brother! She's used one of those huh? creative methods too! What creative method? The one when you put your hand in paint and oh, then put right. it on the paper and leave it mark! I think it looks so beautiful! I think our rooster has taken a very nice profile shot, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Keep on sending us your beautiful, colorful pictures, dear, with all these wonderful right. methods! What does the rooster say? Go, 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 go. What does go, the rooster go, 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 go. say? Go, go, do, do, do. Now let's go see the next picture. Well, blue, red, this picture has been sent to us by my dear boy Muhammad Nabat Zahi. He did a great job. Wow, wow, Grandpa, check out the cool mountains he's drawn for us in the distance. Yes, with mm. a lovely blue cottage. <laughs> Just the same He's color as me. He's drawn a blue river too. Oh, it's flowing and flowing and flowing from the top of the mountain and it's running down the house, round and round. But children, keep in mind that you should send your pictures to us on white sheets of paper, not the ones with lines on them. Oh, that's right. Okay, how about going to the next picture? Let's draw, oh, a, let's picture, draw a picture, everybody! everybody. Wow, Red, Grandpa, children, check this out. Oh. Hanana wow. Fereiduni has drawn such a gorgeous wow. half-scene table for us. What an interesting idea to set the half-scene table right Ooh. next to the river, huh, Brother Blue? Wow. I guess it must be the beginning of the new year. Everybody's gathered around the half-scene table. Right, Grandpa. Yes, dear? I think it would be so nice to free the goldfish into the river after the half-seen table ceremony, You're right. don't you Poor think? Poor goldfish, they must be free. They'll definitely do that. By the way, I'm sure they're very aware not to litter in the area. Of course. Oh. By the way, Grandpa. Yes, dear? Red. Yes? I'm sure Grandpa knows the answer. Huh. Red, can you name the half-seen? We'll help you with it. Don't worry. Oh, uh, I know the seven S's Grandpa's taught me before. Hold on. Okay, okay. See you some more circus of the seven S's of Fred and mm -hmm. Seep. One more. Oh, you missed one. Uh, uh, garlic, sumac, vinegar, grass, salmon, a spread, and Seep apple. or apple. Well done. Yay. Well done. I learned them all, Grandpa. 
Grandpa, did you see? You deserve a reward, my little sister. Okay, thanks. How about drawing me a picture? How about drawing me you a picture? You got it. Huh? Draw me a pretty picture. Now let's go see the next picture. Miss Mahyoka Fori has drawn this lovely picture for us. It's really pretty and also very neat. Oh, and the tree looks as if it's in the middle of the road. And, by the way, Grandpa, look! She's drawn a parrot yeah? on the tree up there. Oh, Mahyoka. how cute! Oh. Well, if you're looking forward to your next beautiful picture, please send it in as soon as you have Yes, become. we're looking forward to it. Let's... So... Everybody say, let's draw a picture, let's draw a picture everybody. everybody. Well, now, this picture has been sent to us by a little brother and sister, just like you two, <gasps> oh, Red and Blue. Nice. Do you know no, what their no, names are? Us, it's Fatima and Farzad Zainodini. Thank you very <gasps> much. Brother, check out all the waves in the lovely flowing river. Wow. What a lovely cottage! By the way, she's colored it blue. So pretty! <laughs> Are you talking about the river red? Yes, brother, yes! The cottage is red, pink, purple, and green. Yes, Am I right, yes, Red? Yes, it's a cottage full of different <laughs> I agree. Colors. She's really drawn a person with colors. a huge hat. See how pretty it is! Oh, oh yes, yes, Grandpa. I want one of these hats. I want one too. I want one too. If you two promise me to get great marks, just like you always do, I'll buy you two beautiful <gasps> hats. Yes, I will. That's Hooray! Terrific. Hooray! Thanks, Grandpa. Thank you, Now Grandpa. you want to see the next picture? Yes, sure we sure. do. Okay, and now this picture, which seems to be this little girl's birthday. Is from Miss Sajida oh, Ismail Zadeh. That's right, and this little girl has also drawn us some candles, uh -huh. butterflies, uh -huh. and many colorful pieces of paper. Wow, you're right. By the way, I guess she's drawn snowflakes <laughs> too. <laughs> and it seems she has some guests coming over to her party because she's lit a candle. And is sitting there all by herself Aww. in this picture. But children, I think Sajida should have drawn her picture a little more neatly because everything seems a bit of a mess. You're right, Grandpa. Maybe next time she improves her drawing and send a better one to us, huh? So we'll be waiting for better pictures from Sajida. Oh, that's right. We'll be waiting. Let's, Let's draw, draw a, a picture, picture everybody. everybody. Children, Miss Tahmina Nohidi has drawn this lovely red hedgehog for us. Brother! What is it? I'm really scared. But why? Because it's got spines. Look, they're very long and sharp. Oh no, don't be scared, sweetheart. Oh, this hedgehog looks yeah. very happy and calm and I'm sure it won't harm you. Oh. That's true. Grandpa, the hedgehogs never hurt anybody if we don't bother them. You know that? Oh. By the way, look how kind and beautiful oh. it looks. Oh, it's oh. smiling at me, and I'm friends with it, Grandpa, now. Sister, hedgehogs only push out the spines on their body and throw oh. them when they feel like they're in danger or an enemy is about oh. to approach. So if we're friends with them, they won't hurt us, will they? Will they? No, they won't. That's Tell right. Me, darling, we would love to see your other pretty pictures of these cute, kind animals that we must all befriend. All right. Now let's go see the next picture. Oh. Well, now, this picture is from little Asal, children. But honestly, I cannot make heads or tails of what she's drawn. Guys, I think <laughs> Asal must be very small. Oh, you're right, Grandpa. Grandpa, you think she's as small as I am? No, darling. I guess she must be even younger than you. <laughs> Look, you can't get what she's drawn. Is it a mountain? Is it a sky? What is it? Is that a sun over there? Up in the sky? It's really pretty, though. Yes, yeah, she's drawn a sun. Yes, in the you're right. Of the sky. It's very beautiful. But, Grandpa, she's yes. really small. I'm sure when she gets older, she'll have done a lot of practice by then and will send us better pictures. By the way, see what a beautiful cottage and oh, a tree yeah. she's drawn. Thanks a but lot. But just the fact that she's drawn and sent us a picture has made us truly happy. Oh, that's right. All right. Let's waste no time and go see the next Let's picture. Let's draw a picture, picture everybody. everybody. My darling friends, 
Here's a beautiful flower bed with a couple of more beautiful flowers. This drawing has been sent to us by Mohammad Amin Noi. Look, Grandpa, Red, see how pretty it is. Brother, see what a beautiful tulip he's drawn. Of course. He's also drawn a teeny tiny bee that's trying to feed from these flowers. How cute. Does bees yes, make dear. flowers like this? Do you know what we call the act of bees sitting on flowers? No, what is no, it? No, what is it? It's called pollination. Interesting. Right. Bees do it to produce the honey. Oh, That's what sweet, they do. Sweet honey. Wow. Mmm, yum yum. Nourishing mm. honey. I love honey. Mmm. Thank you very much, Muhammad Aminoi. Let's, Let's go, go see, see the next, the next picture. picture. Let's go. Be oh. careful. <laughs> oh. Hey there, children. Look. This beautiful picture with a rainbow roof has been sent to us by Muhammad Aminoui. Well done. His cottage looks very different. Look, Grandpa. Oh, yes, dear. It has a roof of rainbow with so many colors. <laughs> it would be so dreamy if there were rainbows instead of all the roofs. Yes, you're right. Children, what do you say we put a rainbow instead oh, of our roof? That's a great idea. But it's not possible. Oh. But why? Because it's just possible in a drawing. We cannot bring a rainbow here and put it on top of our house. Oh, you're right. Oh. But anyway, it's very, very pretty. Thank you ever so well much. Well done. Now it's time we reviewed the pictures we showed you today. Well, the first drawing was sent to us by Rehan Karimi, mm -hmm. which she had drawn a sweet chicken with the use of her hand as a stencil. Yes, that's right. And the picture after that belonged to Miss Fatima Zainor Didi and her kind brother Farsad, which is about a person with a huge hat on his head. A very, very big hat. Too big for his head. And Fatima Zainodini had sent us another picture. The one oh. with two ants, hedgehog, and the turtle. Mm -hmm. Tahmine Nohidi drew us a kind, smiling hedgehog. That's right. And poor Sokiani sent us that girl wearing hijab standing next to her house. It was absolutely beautiful. And Muhammad Amin Noi drew us those beautiful tulips with the tiny bee. And a happy bus, a beautiful road, a green tree, and a sweet parrot were all drawn by Muhammad Ghaffari. Oh, children, a beautiful blue house and a river flowing through the mountains and running alongside the houses was drawn and sent by Muhammad Gabodzei. Thank you ever so much. And Sajade Ismail Zade drew us that little girl's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Amin Noi drew and sent us that house with the colorful rainbow roof. Oh, children, don't forget that beautiful drawing with the yellow sun in the middle of the blue sky by Asal Jannati, will you? It was absolutely fabulous. And the last one was that lovely half-seen table drawn by Hannane Fereiduni. Oh. We are truly grateful to all of our darling friends for their beautiful, great pictures. Thank you very much. Thank you ever so much, everybody. See you all on the next program. And take care, everybody. Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.